algorithms. Quicksort and Mersort by Stanford uh, Crowd Course Initiative. We had left aside with enough comparison sort, quicksort and measured, two very relevant algorithms. Recall the divide and conquer methodology before proceeding. As an input, a problem of size n. Recursive? And at each level of the regression, divide consists in a split problem of size n into a fixed number of subproblems of smaller sizes and solve each uh, subproblem recursively. Conquer consists in merge the answers to the subproblems. Quick sort. Quicksort is, uh, in fact, a very fast sorting algorithm. The, article, uh, the algorithm itself, uh, itself is a bit tricky to, to uh, understand, but works very, very well. The basic idea behind Quicksort is this. Specify one element in the list as a pivot point. Then go through all the elements in the list, swapping the items that are on the wrong side of the pivot and well side on the pivot. In other words, swap items that, that are smaller than the pivot but on the right side of the pivot with uh, items that are larger than the pivot but on the left side of the pivot. On you we done the all possible swaps, move the pivot to wherever it belongs in the list. Now we can ignore the pivot since uh, it's in position and repeat the process for the two halves of the list on each, uh, on each side of the pivot. We repeat this uh, until all the items in the list have been sorted. Quicksort uh, is an example of a divide and conquer algorithm. Quicksort sorts a list effectively by dividing the list into smaller and smaller lists and sorting the smaller list in turn. The best, the best case of quicksort occurs, obviously, when the list is already sorted. For this algorithm, the best case resembles the average case in terms of performance. The average case occurs when the pivot splits the list in half, or nearly uh, in half on each pass. Each pass through the algorithm requires n comparisons. But uh, how many passes does uh, quicksort take? Recall that every time we divide something in half repeatedly, as in binary, as in binary search, the number of operations is approximately uh, log 2n. So the number of passes through the algorithm is approximately log 2n and thus the number of comparisons in the average and best cases is in the order of n times log n. The number of swaps differs in the best and average cases. For the best case, uh, we have no swaps, but for the average case, by the sum reasoning, we have uh, in the order of n times log n swaps. The worst case for quicksort 
occurs when the pivotal weighs the largest or the smallest item on each path through the list. In this instance, we do not split the list in half or nearly in half. So we do end comparisons of over roughly n paces, which means that in the worst case, quicksort is closer or closer to order of n square in performance. For same reason, the number of swaps in the worst case can can be as high of order of n square. In the quicksort example, remember the divide and conquer methodology. Divide. Rearrange the elements and split the array into two subarrays, left and, and right of the pivot, in between such that, to, that uh, each element in the left subarray is less than or equal the middle element and each element in the in the right subarray is greater than the middle element system conquer recursively sort the two subarrays left and right Merge sort. Merge sort is a neat algorithm because it's the sort that sort itself. This means that merge sort requires very few comparisons and swaps. It instead relies on a divide and conquer strategy that is slightly different from the one that the quick sort uses. Merge sort starts by dividing the list to be sorted in half. Then it divides each of these halves in half. The algorithm repeats until of these sublists have exactly one element in them. At that point, each sublist is sorted. In the next phase of algorithm, the sublists are gradually merged back together, hence the name, until we get our original list back, sorted, of course. We can see in the example how made this. And this and this image uh, returns the two faces splitting top bottom and merging bottom to top. Confronting quick sort uh, and per sort, the main problem with uh, quick sort is uh, with quick sort may end, may, then, may end up dividing the input array into sub problems of size 1 and n minus 1 in the worst case at every recursive step uh, unlike merge sort which always divides into halves when can this happen Approaching to order of n square performance, then we need uh, to show pivot wisely, wisely but efficiently. Instead, merge sort is typically implemented using a temporary array for merge step. And quick sort can partition the array in place. How choose the pivot? Root pivot is one that creates two event sized partitions. 
medium will be best, but, but finding the medium could be a thaw problem assorting itself. How about uh, choosing the first element? What if a ray already on the sorted? This methodology is good for the randomly populated array. How about choosing a random element? Good in practice if it's uh, truly random. It's possible to get some bad choices and requires execution of a random number generator. Here we we have a method of estimate median as a median of any of any three pivot elements. Median will be the median of the first, middle, and last element. This reduces running time on 14%. Here we have the sources.